Hello and welcome. So today we have a question. It says, find our partial of x, y, y for the function f of x, y is equal to e to the 2x, y. Now what this simply means is to, is to find the partial derivative of the given function. Here, our partial derivatives are given <clears throat> whenever you have a function with two variables. Normally, when we take a derivative, we have seen with one variable, but here we have two variables, our x and our y. Now we're going to go ahead and start it. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite our function once more. Okay, so here in order for us to solve this, what I'm going to go ahead and do is start taking the partial derivatives going from left to right pertaining to that variable in that spot. So our first partial is going to be in terms of our x variable. So it's going to be partial in terms of our function, which is just e to the 2xy. Now what this um, term basically means is just take the partial of the function in terms of x, our partial derivative, and then our function is right here in parentheses. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take the derivative of this function. Now, since we are taking the partial in terms of x, we're gonna go ahead and treat any other variables that we see as constants, okay? So here, we have our e to the 2xy. Normally, to take a derivative of e to the x, all we do is take the derivative of the outside, which is our e function, multiply that by the derivative of the inside function. Here, in this case, is going to be our 2xy. So we know that whenever we take the derivative of e function, it's, we always get back that same function. Now, I'm going to go ahead and multiply that by the derivative of the inside function. Now, our inside function, we have to remember, we're treating y as a constant. And we're going to go ahead and derive against x. So that means we just have 2y left. And that's going to be our first partial in terms of x. So we're done with this part here. Now I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that. Now we're going to go ahead and take the partial, but now it's going to be in terms of y. So our second part is our partial of our function in terms of y. But in this case, we're not going to do it against this function. Now we're going to go ahead and do it against this function here because we already did it in terms of our x. Now we're going to go ahead and do it in terms of our y. So now it's going to be this function inside our parentheses. So this is a pretty uh, easy step as well. We're going to go ahead and find a derivative against y. We're going to go ahead and treat x or any other variable that we would have seen or could have been in there as constants. Now, here we have two functions. We know whenever we have two functions that we're going to find a derivative, we go ahead and use something that we call the product rule, which is simply treating, for example, this as our f function, and this is our g function. Here, we're going to go ahead and take the derivative of the first function, multiply by the second function without changing it, plus our first function, multiply by the derivative of the second function. And this little, little uh, line here just basically means a derivative of that function. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is um, go ahead and find our partial derivative against y. So we're gonna go ahead and treat x as our constant. Here, for those of you that know, whenever you take a derivative and you have a number right here, we can always just take out that number then find the derivative of whatever's left, and then we just multiply by that number we took out. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do now. So I'm gonna do two times, and I'm gonna go ahead and do a brackets. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use a product rule. So our f is our y, so we are finding our derivative against y, so that's just gonna be one. Multiply by the second one, we're not gonna go ahead and change anything on that. Plus, we're gonna go ahead and keep our first function, multiplied by the derivative of the second function. Once again, as we did up here, we're gonna go ahead and use the chain rule once more, but this time we're gonna go ahead and treat x as a constant instead of how we did it up here, we treated y as a constant. So once again, our e function just shoots back our same function when we find a derivative, multiplied by the derivative of the inside using y as our variable that we're gonna go ahead and derive against, and x as our constant. So what we have left over is just two x. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and simplify that a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and erase a little bit up there so I have a little bit more room. 
Go ahead, and go ahead and rewrite that. I'm gonna go ahead and distribute the two as well. Now, I gotta make sure that everything is good so that way I don't mess up in my next step. Okay, looks good. Now for our last one, we're gonna go ahead and find our derivative in terms of y. So we're gonna find our partial of our function in terms of y once more. And now our function now exists right here. So we're gonna do two e to the two xy plus four xy e to the two xy. Now once again, as we did on the last one, we're gonna go ahead and derive against y. So we're gonna treat any other variable that we see as a constant. Here in our derivative rules, whenever we have a plus or a minus, all we simply do is find the derivative of this, and then whatever symbol is here, we add or subtract uh, to our derivative of this. So in this case, it's gonna be our derivative of this term plus our derivation of this term as well. So once again, here is gonna be a little bit of combination. Here we're gonna use the chain rule, and if you notice here once more, we're gonna go ahead and use a product rule. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of speed through that a little bit. So once again, when we have this, I just take out the two, then multiply by, our uh, derivation of e to the 2xy, which is just 2e to the 2xy times our uh, derivative of the inside, inside little term there against y. We're going to go into x, so we have left over 2x. Now we're going to add to that. I'm going to go ahead and take out the 4, multiply that by. Here in that case, here in this case, I'm going to go ahead and treat our xy as my f and my e to the 2xy as my g. So I'm going to go ahead and use the product rule in this case. So once again, our y is our variable and our x is gonna be treated as a constant. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the derivative of that. It's just simply left over with x multiplied by our second function, e to the two xy plus our first function, xy, multiply that by our derivation of our second little function there, which is just e to the two xy, multiply by the, using the chain rule, multiply by the derivative of the inside function, against y, we just have 2x left over. Now I'm gonna go ahead and simplify now. So we have 4x e to the 2xy plus, I'm gonna go ahead and distribute that 4, 4x e to the 2xy plus four times two, that gives us eight. Then multiply, now we have x and x, so that gives us x squared. We have y, and we have our e to the 2xy. Now, so this, so this will be our final result of our derivation of this little function right over here using these partial derivatives in terms of x, y, and lastly, y as well. Now, if, for example, if we had another x there, what we would do now is take this little function here and go ahead and find the partial in terms of x. So we're gonna go ahead and do that just for a little bit of practice. I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite my function again, which is 4x e to the 2xy plus 4x e to the 2xy plus 8x squared y e to the 2xy. So here, when we, what we can do as well is we're going to go ahead and take the partial in terms of our x, if we had an x here, for example. So it's going to be our partial function in terms of x of 4x e to the 2xy plus 4x e to the 2xy plus 8x squared y e to the 2xy. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same steps. We're going to go ahead and treat our x as our variable. We're going to go ahead and treat y as our constant. We're going to go ahead and treat our x as our variable. We're going to go ahead and treat y as our constant. And I'm gonna go ahead and speed through this. If you wanna kind of just pause it here, that way you can try it on your own, see if we get the same answer. You can go ahead and do that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and um, do this real quick. Now, if you notice here once more, we actually have two of the same terms. So what we normally do in that, we just go ahead and add our numbers out front. So our last step is just to simplify a little bit further and we get, x 
And this would be our full derivation if we had that x in the bottom. So this would be our partial of f, x, y, y, x, okay? And what the main thing here with that we used was the product rule as well as the chain rule. I really hope this helps.